previous video, we studied what motion is. We also saw one type of motion called the rectilinear motion. It's nothing but straight line motion. In this type of motion, the path of a moving object is a straight line. But what if the path of a moving object is circular? Yes, you guessed it correctly. If an object is moving in circles, it's undergoing circular motion. More accurately, it's defined as the motion of an object along the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is the length of this boundary which is curved. So if an object is moving along the circumference of a circle, we say it's undergoing circular motion. Can you give me any real life examples in which objects execute this type of motion? What about the satellites orbiting the Earth? Yes. A satellite orbiting at a certain height is also undergoing circular motion. What other examples of circular motion can you think of? Take a small object and tie it to one end of a rope. Take the other end of the rope in your hand and whirl it around in circles. You see that the object is performing circular motion. Notice that the distance of the stone from your hand is always the same. What about the moving fan? Is it also undergoing circular motion? First, let's only consider the motion of a point on one of its blades. If we switch on the fan, we will see the point moving in circles. So we can say that the blades of the fan are also undergoing circular motion. Now what if I take the fan as a one single object? Can I say that the fan as a whole is moving in circles? No, that would be incorrect. The fan as a whole is not going anywhere. The entire fan is not moving along the circumference of a circle. But which motion is it performing then? The fan is undergoing rotational motion. Before actually defining this type of motion, let's try to understand it first. This rod here is called the axle. And the entire fan is spinning around this axle. Or you can also say that the entire fan is spinning around this fixed line. This type of motion is what we call rotational motion. Now we will define it in simple words. A body is said to be performing rotational motion if it's spinning around some fixed line. And the fixed line is also called axis of rotation. What other examples of rotational motion can you think of? What about a rotating wheel? We use the word rotating because it's performing rotational motion. What is axis of rotation in this case? Yes, it lies on the axle of the wheel. So the wheel is also undergoing rotational motion about this fixed line. Other examples of this type of motion can be the earth spinning around its axis and a spinning top. But wait a moment. Let's go back to our example we discussed earlier. When this object was whirled around in circles, we said that it was performing circular motion. But here, if we take this line as our axis of rotation, then we can also say that the object is performing rotational motion around this fixed line. So what is the motion of this object? Circular or rotational? What exactly is the difference between the rotational and the circular motion? In all the examples of rotational motion that we saw, the axis of rotation is a part of the object. It is going through the object. But in this case, the axis of rotation is not passing through the object. It's totally separate from the object. Hence, we don't call this motion as rotational motion. This is circular motion and not rotational. So this is the difference between circular and rotational motion. If a body moves along the circumference of a circle, we say that it's performing circular motion. And if the body is spinning around the fixed line, called the axis of rotation, and if that axis of rotation passes through the body, we say that it's undergoing rotational motion. In the next video, we will see one more type of motion. See you there.